Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lifestand Gamers, and welcome. So today I wanted to share with you a project that didn't end up going so well. Now this was actually a byproduct of one of my recent builds, where I started out with this little flatbed truck, and the idea was to build portable habitation sort of blocks, portable cabins that would have refineries and different sorts of processing, so you could set up mobile bases. And that got out of hand rather fast because once I build a sort of place for people to live, I wanted to build a place for the refinery and I added another trailer. Then I added another trailer for another building. And then I said to myself, Aaron, this thing's not going to be able to get anywhere with trees and all sorts of rock, sort of dangerous terrain. You just going to get stuck in the first ditch you come across. But I thought I'd show you this anyway. We're on a flat, very deserty terrain. Maybe it would work in this sort of environment like they do in the outback of Australia. But we'll we'll give it a drive around. There we go. Add a little bit of power. Now, one of the initial things when I was messing with this build is I didn't think the truck would have enough power to actually pull all this weight behind it. But it is very capable. You can also notice we've got a different sort of cockpit here up at the front. You can see the train behind us curving into the corner, having to make sure that we lead a very wide turn. What we'll try to do is lead it around them rocks. But the cockpit mod I've actually added on here is a rover-based cockpit, very lots of view, so you can see all around, great for things below you, so you don't be crashing into everything, but still very cool. Now you can probably see why this didn't make it to a final sort of build video, just because of the, the craziness of it. Originally it wouldn't have all these car containers at the back, it would have the habitation blocks, but I've just took them off so it's a little bit more simple, less things to go wrong as I'm demonstrating this to you. So we need to turn this in quite nippily, so we'll add a little bit of left steer and you can see it follows the truck extremely well to a very sort of tight turn i don't think we're actually going to be able to see the end of the trailer let's hope we don't hit the rock with the other end if i do a little bit of zooming out perhaps i will okay yeah there we go there we are curving around the rock <laughs> oh it's so cool I, I, these little things just really entertain me oh there we go we made it through without doing too much damage i wonder what the off-road capability of this uh, as i look at that massive rock i don't think we're going to try that rock we'll try this little sand dune that's over here so we'll bring the trailer back around if we can perfect and we'll line it up for that rock now the worst case scenario of this is that the hinge just hits the back of the truck and the trailer snaps straight off the back but we'll approach it quite gently let's check our speed so we're doing about 40 kilometers an hour so we're not going that fast and we're going to line this up well but we'll aim it at a little bit of an angle as well so the trailer can actually shift behind us so we'll go for that little corner there this looks quite smooth okay we've broke a little bit of the bumper off crawl 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 Okay, truck, come on. And trailer, follow us. Oh, don't, no, no, don't hit that bit. No, don't hit that bit. Okay, just slow this down ever so slightly, and we'll reverse it back off the rock. We're not in the best of positions. We've lost a bit of the bumper, but I guess since the bumper was overhanging, it did its job instead of getting the wheel damaged. And we'll begin turning in. You can see the trailer's working its way up the slope behind us. Very cool indeed. And we, will we make this turn before we hit off? Oh, damn it, we're going to jackknife ourselves. I, th I think we've already multiple. We've got multiple jackknives going on along the back. We'll try turning left. Come on, power! We've got need even more power, I think, to get up that hill with the rest of the trailers. And we're going to turn in. Oh yes, I think we'll make this. It's going to be tight though. Okay, really on the edge. Oh no, we're not going to make it. Oh. Okay, good, good. Oh, I think we have. I think we've made it. Beautiful. Okay, and the rest of the road train is up on the sandbank. So my off-road capabilities maybe were questionable, but still. Very cool, let's try dropping down this slope here without too much of a jump, so I'm going to approach it slow, hit the brake, let the truck tip, let the trailer follow in behind. Oh, the trailer seems to be supporting us quite well. And we hit to the ground, and now the rest of the column of trailers behind us has got to do the same. There we go, we've only got two wheels on the ground, so we're slowing in speed a little bit. And the rest of the trailer is following us down to the ground as well. Anyway, I just thought this was a, a cool little experiment. I couldn't let it go to waste without sharing it with you. Oh, look at that as it's pouring down the rest. Oh, the last trailer's not going to do too well. Oh, don't roll over. Anyway, I thought it would be a cool thing to show you. We've got a little bit of a discrepancy at the end of the trailer, but thanks for watching, and maybe it's inspired another one of your builds.